Now in this video, we are going to learn how to multiply by 25 and how to divide by 25. For example, let's check this rule. This rule is saying that multiplying a number n by 25 is the same of dividing the number by 4 and then times 100. Instead of using this way, we're going to use this way. Because as we mentioned before, multiply by 100, but multiply by any power of 10 is something that is come, it will come natural because, because the decimal system that we use. Now, for example, let's, make an, let's do an example here. Let's say we want to multiply 12 times 25. Follow this rule. 12 divided by 4. What is 12 divided by 4? It's 3. And what is 3 times 100? Just add two zeros at the 3. 300. Let's do another example. 32 times 25. It's simple. Let's divide 32 by 4. 8. So the answer would be 800. Let's do another example. Let's say, for example, we want to divide, we want to multiply the number 64, 84 times 25. Let's divide this number by 4. 64 divided by 4 is 16. 84 is 21. Divided by 4 is 21. So we have 16, 21 with two zeros at the end, which means that the answer of 6,484 times 25 is 162,100. Now, using the same approach, kind of the same approach, we're going to learn how to divide by 25. But for that, we need to follow this rule. This rule is saying that when you want to divide a number n by 25, what you need to do is multiply by 4 and then divide by 100. Actually, this part, as mentioned before, it comes natural. So we don't have to worry about dividing by 100. We just have to uh, pay attention to how we multiply by 4. That's the only thing. For example, let's say we want to divide 7 by 25. 7 times 4 is 28. So the answer would be 0 0.28. What is 9 divided by 25? 9 times 4 is 36, so it would be 0 0.36. For example, what is, what is the answer of 608 divided by 25? Well, let's multiply the 608 by 4. The answer would be 2432. But the final answer, we have to divide this by 100, which means now we have to place the decimal right here. So the answer will be 24.32. It's important that you follow these rules because as you can see, it's easier to do in this way. And it's recommended by all the mental calculators in the world. Okay, I hope you like this video.